Hey guys, the Blood here, back again with another review, and today we are having a look at the DC Universe Classics Wave 17, Orange Lantern Lex Luthor. Greedy son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> his accessories, uh, just get into it, he comes with the other leg to the Anti-Monitor, one of those, and, um course like most of the lantern figures we already had a look at so, yeah. crap behind camera excuse me uh goes with this is a little orange lantern doesn't have a handle kind of impractical considering his hands are both open come on but whatever so Uh, his details are all in clear plastic. I'll try my best. I think that's the orange lantern symbol right there. Or it could just be his core. I don't know if he's got a ring on his hand or not. Yeah, it ain't moving. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was just trying something again. I don't see one unless that's it right there. That little blob right there might be the ring. It's hard to tell because it's clear and not colored. Like uh, Larflees or whatever his name is. The one who wanted to kill Santa Claus. Um, <laughs> Merry Christmas, right? Uh... So, he's got a lot of details going on. I mean, all the bolts and stuff. He used to have little tubes here and here. But on mine, one of them broke off, so I took the other one off. So, there you go. They look like bolts, though, so I'm not too concerned. Plus, what the heck were they for, anyway? To provide oxygen? No helmet! Hello! Uh, so, yeah, that's clear plastic for you. This whole thing is made of clear plastic, except the joints, which is good, because as you can see here, uh, that is solid. That little connector piece is solid. The pins and the elbows are solid. And I believe also in the knees, they're solid. Yep. And the head is solid. Uh, so, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> So articulation, I guess, we'll get on to that. His head's got a pretty good joint in it. You look up that far and down that far. You can rotate it side to side. I don't think he's got any bobble movement. No, not really. But he does have a diaphragm joint, so you can move all over the place. If you want him to. Uh, he's got T-joint, or, yeah, T-joint. He's got an in-and-out movement at the shoulder. They don't move out that much due to the shoulder pad, probably, but you can get a decent amount. They rotate, too, not 360. Again, because of the shoulder pad, it sticks out a bit. He's got a rotation of the bicep. Single hinge elbow. Gives you a little bit... Uh, I'd say that's about 90 degrees. He's got a swivel at the uh, gauntlet here. Um... He does on this side too, I'd imagine, but it is stuck. I'm not going to move it. Because the bicep is loose enough to the point where I wind up rotating that instead of the wrist. So, whatever. Uh, nothing in the waist because he's got it up here. I don't think there's anything no, nothing under the belt unless it's stuck. Uh, but he does have side skirts which hinder his leg moving a little bit. But he's in a giant suit. I don't think he's going to be doing it 
any uh, acrobatics anytime soon. <laughs> Does have in and out movement, forward and back. Uh, thigh swivel up there, right under this little bandish deal. Then he's got a single hinge in the knee, giving you a little bit over 90 degrees, so that's good. He's got a boot swivel and a hinge in the foot. So overall, Lex Luthor is actually my second favorite of the wave, even though his little hose thing broke. But that was easily fixable uh, with the removal of the other one. So I gotta give him, I gotta give him a nine as well. I recommend this guy. So that's it for Lex Luthor, people. So. Stay tuned, we're going to have a look at uh, Black Lantern and Hal Jordan next, the last figure of the wave, and the only one who doesn't come with an accessory outside of the Build-A-Figure piece, surprisingly. And uh, stay tuned, because after that, we're going to be having a look at Anti-Monitor. And as always, don't be greedy, and I'll catch you guys later. Uh, I missed the button. Whatever. Catch you guys later.